In this video, we are going to solve a very cool and interesting problem. S to the power of 2 minus S to the power of 3 is equal to 80. How do we solve for X? Solution. We have X to the power of 2 minus X to the power of 3 equals to 80. Let's bring this guy to the left side. So we're going to have S to the power of 2 minus S cubed minus 80 equals to 0. Let's proceed further. So S square minus s cube we can write negative 80 as minus 16 minus 64 equals to 0 let us rearrange this equation doing that we're gonna have s to the power of 2 minus 16 minus x to the power of 3 minus 64 equals to 0 we can isolate these two guys and this so we're gonna have s square minus 16 we put it in brackets. We can pull out minus 1. So we're going to have minus into s to the power of 3 plus 64 equals to 0. Nothing has changed. Let's proceed further. We can write these guys as s to the power of 2 minus 4 square equals 4 times 4 that is 16 minus s to the power of 3 plus 64 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 3 equals to 0. At this stage, it is good to recall the difference of two square formula and the cubic formula. So recall that a square minus b square is simply the same thing as what? a minus b times a plus b. For the cubic one, that will be a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equals to a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square take note of this property if you apply this property to this guy you will get x minus 4 times x plus 4 minus if you apply this property this second line to this guy you will get x plus 4 times s square minus 4x plus 16 because this guy happens to be a and this is our b let's proceed further equals to zero clearly x plus 4 is the common terms here we can pull it out so we're gonna have x plus 4 times this guy x minus 4 minus this guy s square minus 4x plus 16 everything equals to zero this implies that x plus 4 times x minus 4 minus times s square that is negative s square minus times minus 4x that is plus 4x minus times 6 that is negative 6 equals to zero so x plus 4 times we have negative s square x plus 4x that is what 5x minus 6 well, there is a mistake here. This is 16, not 6. This is 16. So, minus 4 minus 16, that is negative 20, equals to 0. This implies that x plus 4 is equals to 0, or negative s squared plus 5x minus 20 is equals to 0. Clearly, from here, x is equals to negative 4. This is the first solution and it is real. For this guy, if you multiply both sides by minus 1, we're going to have s square minus 5x plus 20 is equals to 0. We can solve this quadratic equation using quadratic formula. So our a here is 1 and our b is negative 5 and our c is 20. So we just recall the quadratic formula which is x is equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a just plug all these values into this guy so we have x equals to minus what is b b is negative 5 minus 5 plus or minus square root of b square that will be minus 5 all square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 20 
over 2 times 1 x is equals to minus times minus 5 that is 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 all square that is simply 25 minus 4 times 1 times 20 that is 80 over 2 times 1 that is 2 so x is equals to 5 plus or minus 25 minus 80 that is what that is negative 55 over 2 this is equals to 5 plus or minus square root of negative 55 is the same thing as square root of negative 1 times square root of 55 over 2 so x is equals to 5 plus or minus square root of negative 1 from complex number that is i times square root of 55 over 2. Therefore, a value of x is equals to negative 4, which is the first solution, or this guy, 5 plus i root 55 over 2, or 5 minus i times square root of 55 over 2 these are the possible solutions for this nice equation that's it thanks for watching